Amazon made an announcement and everybody seems to be freaking out, except for me. Because you know what? I actually think it's an opportunity. I think it's something really good. What is going on, Amazon business owners and very soon to be Amazon business owners? Bob Schneck checking in with you today. Very excited to be here. I just had to get on and do a video because I tell you what, there's so much crazy talk going on out there. Amazon made an announcement and everybody seems to be freaking out, except for me. Because you know what? I actually think it's an opportunity. I think it's something really good. So let me go ahead and I'm going to hop over to my slideshow because I got some pretty cool things I want to share with you. And hopefully I can just give you some advice. So here's what we're going to talk about. All right. Get that going. All right. So here is, are you ready for this? Here is the news flash. Beep, 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 beep. Everybody, here's what it is. Amazon to display third party seller's business name and address on seller's profile page starting September 1st. Oh my gosh. Everybody that I'm talking to, I can't believe Amazon would do that. Why are they going to share my address? My privacy is going away. And you know what? I just don't get into all the panic. I just don't deal with people like that. I'm just going to give you my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. I actually think it's a good thing. Now, let me show you what's actually happening. So I just pulled something up. I'm getting ready to buy something for my kid for lunch. Okay. For some reason, he likes to uh, uh, pack his lunch. I mean, I, I used to like uh, getting school lunch, but I guess they're not as good. Anyway, so I'm looking at a Bendigo kids lunchbox. All right. And over here on the right-hand side, you can see it says sold by SKU Universe, fulfilled by Amazon. Obviously, it's an FBA product. And here's the thing that is changing. Now, it, it, it's changing, but it's not. Meaning anybody at any time could come and click on SK Universe and go, you know, look at information about them. But you know what? I'm telling you what, the vast majority of people don't even know they can do that. So I think people are making a bigger deal out of this stuff than it is. But if you click on it, it's going to bring this up right here. And I'm actually going to move my picture so that you can see what I'm showing you here. All right, down to the bottom corner. So right here is where they're now going to put your name, your business name, your display name, and the address to your business. Now, that's got some people just so incredibly freaked out. I don't get it because to me, it's just one other way for us to reach out to our customers or have our customers reach out to us. Now, do you want to have your home address on there? I, I don't think that's probably it, but I got some solutions for that as well. So here's why I think it's an opportunity, okay? Yes, you are welcome to add additional information about your business and products that you think would be helpful to your customers. See, ever since I got involved with Amazon, what was crazy is Amazon always tried to keep a, a, a kind of a, a veil or a separation between me and my customers, you know, to the point where they would actually answer customer service questions. And if you had a question, then they actually had to go through, you know, the, the, the Amazon electronic mail. You know what? I like it. I like it when my customers know who I am, right? So that they can reach out to me. And, and if they have a question, then I now have a personal relationship. Um, well, I think that's awesome. So I think by Amazon doing this, it's going to bring sellers and, and your customers closer together because you can add stuff. So let me show you how you're going to do this. It's actually super simple. All right. So we're in the back office. All you want to do is up in the right hand corner where it says settings, come in, click on it click on your account info section, all right? And then you're gonna to come to where it says business information, right? payment information, shipping and returns. You know, you should be relatively familiar with this if you're actually doing business on Amazon. What we're gonna do is come into this area right here and we're just gonna make a couple of changes. We're gonna start with the display name, right? What is the name of your business? If that's your personal name, then I would recommend you change it. 
okay? We've talked a little bit about this in the past. I'm a big believer in putting your business in a business, treating it like a business, whether that's an LLC or S Corp or C Corp or whatever it is you want. But you can create whatever display name that you want. I really don't recommend you put your own name. I do recommend you put your company name. Okay. And again, you can see Mexico, Canada, and the U S you can set it up differently in each one that you want. Okay. Now the next thing we want to look at is the business address. This is what Amazon is now requiring that your name and address show up. It's going to show up right here. Now you can have several addresses if you want, and you can add a new one. Now, if you don't have a business right now and you've just got your personal address in there, then yeah, Amazon is actually gonna display your personal address if that's where you run your business. So I've got some ideas for you because I don't think it's a really good idea to put your personal name there, even if you're, I mean, your personal uh, address, even if you're running your business out of your home. So you're gonna wanna get a different address. Here's a couple of solutions. Some people think they can use a PO box, absolutely not. Amazon not, will not allow that, they will suspend your account, okay? So we don't wanna do that. So what are the alternatives? Well, go down and get a, a, a po, uh, not a post office box, but like a mailbox, et cetera, or the UPS, right? Where you have an actual address, you know, 1500 North Main Street, and then you get a little box inside of the store, the UPS store, but it's now your suite number, suite 345 or something like that. But the difference between a PO box and an actual mailing service is that it has a real street address to it, okay? And that's, and that's what Amazon's looking for. So you're gonna wanna either go get one of those or here's what I do. I use my registered agent, okay? See, I run my business as an LLC and I have my LLC set up through my attorney and my attorney acts as a registered agent for my LLC. So I have all of my mail delivered to that address, that attorney as a registered agent. So you can do the very same thing. Uh, if you have a professional set up your, your uh, business entity, I'm sure they offer uh, a registered agent services. And if not, you can actually probably just look it up on Google, put in the city where you're at, find a registered agent, and they can handle it for you. And again, it's not a big deal. I really believe it's an opportunity. But before you do this, I'm gonna make a strong recommendation. Just because Amazon's been kind of funky lately, uh, about suspending people. And, and so here's one of the things that you can do to protect yourself, all right? Before you actually update the account in the Seller Central area, what you ought to do is actually open up a case log, okay? You can do that by hitting the help section in your back office, and it will bring up this on the bottom. All you have to do is launch a case log and then simply fill in the information and let them know ahead of time what you're doing. Say, hey, I'm gonna be changing the address from my personal address to a business address. Uh, my display name's right there. I've changed my display name from my personal name to my business name. Just let them know what you're doing and, and get some kind of response from them. Why? Because now you have a, a paper trail that you actually let them know and they approved it and if for some crazy, weird, strange reason they decide to you know, suspend your account, you have validation and proof that it was there. So here, here's my two cents on this. Um, the fact that Amazon's gonna be sharing your uh, business name and address, I think it's a good thing if you use it the right way, right? It's great to get that brand recognition to let people know about who you are, right? Put your business number in there get a separate number, 800 number, something like that, uh, so that your, your, your customers can actually reach out to you, right? So I think it's a good thing. Now, what you wanna be careful of is the fact that they're going to be doing this on September 1st. This is something you wanna look at pretty quickly. And, and again, you can go in there and change that pretty quickly. Um, don't use a personal address. I just don't think that's smart but get a registered agent, get a, uh, you know, a UPS box with an actual street address that they can display inside there. So don't look at this as they're invading my privacy, oh, freaking out. No, this is actually a pretty cool opportunity. I've always wanted Amazon to open the, 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 the lines of communication between me and my customers a lot more than they allow. And I think this is the very first step. So I think this is awesome. Personally, 
uh, don't freak out. <clears throat> Just be smart about it. Realize it's happening pretty quick. So you're going to want to jump on this. Make sure you open up that case log. But again, while everybody else is whining and crying and complaining, you know what? Put your head down, go to work, and let's make this happen. Bob Schneck checking in with you. I'm super excited to be here. If you like this and you want to learn more about what we actually do at Allgo, uh, how we, we have a business model that's time tested and proven. It's used by the largest retailers in the world today. How I can literally promise you sales the very first day your products go live. I know that's a pretty tall order, but I can actually do it. And if you want to learn how, just click the button down below, register. I'm going to be hosting a free webinar sometime in the next couple of weeks. I invite you to attend. All you got to do is click the button down below to get yourself registered. Make sure if this was good information for you, like the video. Okay. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. We've always got new content, new information coming out. So with that said, I can't wait to meet you. Yeah.